Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. With your purple belt in logic, you will master propositional logic. You've learned the logical operators and where to put the parentheses and brackets. In this video, you will learn more about parentheses and the De Morgan's rule. Question. How do you express the words not both and not either with parentheses? Well, here's an example. An important thing to know is that the words not both is not logically equivalent to the words both not. For example, this statement says not both. It's true. But this statement that says both not is false. And likewise, the words not either is not logically equivalent to the words either not. For example, this statement is true, but this statement is false. And now, De Morgan's rule. According to De Morgan's rule, when the tilde is moved to the inside of the parentheses, a dot changes to a wedge, and a wedge changes to a dot. For example, this statement is translated like this. Or you can move the tilde inside the parentheses and translate it like this. But you must change the dot to a wedge. You see, the original statement, not both cows and snakes are reptiles, when translated this way, means cows are not reptiles and snakes are not reptiles, which is false, because snakes are definitely reptiles. But if you change the dot to a wedge, it means cows are not reptiles or snakes are not reptiles, which is true, because cows are not reptiles. Let's work some practice problems. Choose the correct translation for this statement. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. The tilde goes outside the parentheses. Next practice problem. Choose the correct translation. And press pause if you need more time. The answer in 3, 2, 1. This is the correct translation. Next practice problem. Choose the correct translation. Press pause if you need more time. The answer in 3, 2, 1. Not either means the tilde goes outside the parentheses. Next practice problem. Choose the correct translation. Press pause if you need more time. The answer in 3, 2, 1. This is the correct translation. Next practice problem. Choose the correct translation. Press pause if you need more time. The answer in 3, 2, 1. Neither is the same as not either. All right, moving right along. Choose a logically equivalent translation for this. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This is the correct application of De Morgan's rule. Next practice problem. Choose the logically equivalent translation. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This is the correct application of De Morgan's rule. Congratulations! You're now one step closer to advancing to the next level. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. And have a great day.